हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड लॉग कॉस एक्स प्लस एच यूज इन पावर्स ऑफ एच विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेलर्स थ्योरम सो व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स दैट वी फॉलो इन केस ऑफ टेलर्स थ्योरम फर्स्ट स्टेप इज राइट व्हाट एवर फंक्शन इज गिवन इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस एच सो यू विल हैव टू राइट एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस एच इक्वल टू लॉग कॉस एक्स प्लस एच दिस इज द फर्स्ट द सेकेंड स्टेप इज पुट एच इक्वल्स टू जीरो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट फंक्शन इन एक्स सो पुट एच इक्वल टू जीरो वट वी गेट एफ ऑफ x equals to log cos x. Now we have to just differentiate f x two to three times. Okay, so your f dash x will be derivative of log cos x. So that will be whatever is inside log. So one upon cos x into derivative of cos x is negative sine x. so this will be nothing but negative tan x if you find the next derivative so that will be f double dash x derivative of tan is secant square if you look at the third derivative f triple dash x so again first power so 2 will come out power will decrease by 1 and derivative of secant x is secant x tan x so i can just write secant square tan x fine enough now we will have to substitute these values in the in that expression of taylor's theorem which is f of x plus h equals fx plus h times First derivative plus x square by two factorial times the second derivative plus h cube by three factorial times the third derivative and so on. So what is f of x plus h? That is log cos x plus h. And we'll write that. What is f x? Your f x is log cos x plus h times. What is the first derivative? It is negative of tan x. What is the second derivative? Negative of secant square x. And what is the third derivative? your third derivative is negative of 2 times secant square x tan x and so so we can just simplify this and write log cos x plus h as first term is simplified already log cos x second term we can write minus in front h tan x in the next term again we can write minus in front and two factorial is 2 so minus h square by 2 secant square x in the next term we can uh, write minus in front three factorial is 6 so if i cancel with that 2 i will get minus h cube by 3 Secant square x tan x and so on. So this is the final expansion of log cos x plus h in terms of x h in terms of h with the help of Taylor's theorem. So what were the steps? First step was whatever function was given, write that equal to f of x plus h. Next, we have to find function in terms of x. Put h equals to zero. Find at least three derivative, 
and then put that into the expression of the Taylor's theorem. So that's it for today. We have already solved a couple of problems based on uh, Maclaurin's theorem and we'll do some more on Taylor's theorem as well. All of these will be put into the playlist of Taylor's and Maclaurin's theorem. Thanks again.